If you love decorating for fall as much as I do, stick around. I'm going to show you how to create some amazing fall decor with Dollar Tree items. You guys know I love a good paint pour and that's our first project. What you're gonna need is three wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need something to hang them. I found these really awesome macrame hangers at Dollar Tree. You also need some fall paint. So go to Sherwin-Williams or Home Depot and pick out some fall colors that you love, that you wanna use in your crafts this year and then get inexpensive paint samples. They're perfect to use in all your DIY crafts. Grab some wood filler and fill the holes on your wood cutouts. Next, you need to prep, because once you start down the road of paint pour, there's no turning back. Okay, that's a little dramatic, but you wanna get all your supplies out. So I'm gonna open the top of all of my paints, line them up. I'm also going to get out three disposable cups. You also wanna use gloves because this is gonna get messy. Next, I'm gonna pour my paint into the disposable cups. You just wanna pour a little bit in each cup. And remember, however much paint you put in there, that's gonna be the main color on your item. So if you like a color more than others, just pour them depending on which color you wanna see the most on your paint pour. Before you start pouring, make sure you get out a plate and a cup or something to sit on there that your paint pour can rest on. Then you're ready to start. So put your piece onto the cup and you're going to take the cup with all of the paint in it and you're just going to wiggle it on the top of whatever you're paint pouring. Once you get the majority of the paint on there, then this is the fun part. You can start moving it around to create those really fun lines and shapes that happen with a paint pour. You wanna make sure that you cover your wood piece completely with paint. Now repeat this with all of the pieces that you're going to paint pour. From here, what you wanna do is you wanna let them sit on the cups to dry. This way, any excess paint will have a chance to just drop off and make sure you give it at least overnight to dry. I really hope you guys are able to find these macrame hangers at Dollar Tree. I was so excited to find them. I'm gonna use these to hang up my paint pour pieces. So I'm just going to flip the pieces over on the back and then I'll line up the macrame pieces. Once I have it where I want it to be, I'm gonna hot glue it on the bottom as well as the top. Once it has a chance to dry, I'm going to cut off the extra strands on the macrame, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on my other two paint pour pieces, making sure that I line them up as evenly as possible with the one I first created. My next tip is how are you going to hang these pieces on the wall? So what I like to do is put everything on the floor. This way I can kind of map it out where it's going to look good. Next, you got to figure out how you're going to hang it. I'm going to be using these hooks from Dollar Tree. I'm actually going to place these behind my macrame pieces on the yarn. Then you can just simply pull the backing off and place them on your wall. All right, so this next DIY is a little bit out of the box, but when I was walking down the beauty aisle at Dollar Tree, I spotted this loofah, and I tell you guys, I thought this looks exactly like a pumpkin. So we're gonna make a pumpkin out of this loofah. So you're gonna cut off the handle, then you're gonna spray paint your loofah whatever color you want. I went with a brown color. You're gonna spray the bottom of it, let that dry, flip it over, and then spray the top. I really like the look of a natural handle on my pumpkin, so I found this stick that I had bought back in the spring from Five Below. It was a little long, so I used my hacksaw to cut it in half. I also had a leaf that I found from one of my florals, and I'm gonna hot glue the leaf in place, and then I will hot glue the stem and hold it till it's completely dry. This is a quick and easy pumpkin you can make, and I love the way it turned out. If you've made it this far on the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is pumpkin. Have you guys been able to find the pumpkin sticks? Let me know down in the comments. I bought several. I'm gonna show you how you can easily put them together with items from Dollar Tree. Now, the only item I'm not using from Dollar Tree is my bowl. Now, this is a dough bowl. It's actually my mom's. I asked if I could borrow it, and I told her I would give it back to her with fall decor in it. If you don't have a bowl like this, that's okay. You can use anything that you have on hand. For this project, you're gonna need some kind of foam piece or something that your sticks can go into. So I'm gonna use two foam pieces at the bottom. Next, I'm going to space out my pumpkin. Since I bought 
bought a lot of different colors. I bought about three of each of the colors and then I have more of the white. I'm gonna evenly space out the colors. As I was doing this, my foam pieces were kind of falling apart, so I hot glued them together. I just used some skewers to hold them together. Once I have all my color sticks in, then I'm going to sprinkle in the white ones. Next, I added in moss to cover up my foam pieces. And then to fill in the gaps around my pumpkins, I grabbed some leaves from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna place those in around and then I'm just gonna spread the leaves out so they're as full as possible. Another leaf I grabbed at Dollar Tree are these leather ones. These are completely new this year as well. So I'm going to add them in, hot glue them in place, just wherever I have holes or I think they might look nice. This is probably the most colorful centerpiece I put together. I think it looks awesome on my table. For this next DIY, you're only gonna need two craft items, wood beads and some stems. So the wood beads I pick up are from Amazon. You can also get them at Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna start by hot gluing my wood beads together. So I'm gonna do four in a row, making sure that the holes are upright. And then I'm gonna do three more along the sides so that I have four on each side, and then I'll close it up to make a square so each of my sides has four beads. Next, I'm gonna start building up my beads because I'm creating a vase. So I'll just hot glue the beads on top of the ones that I previously put down, and I'll also connect them together. This is really a fun project. You can make it as tall or as short as you want. I decided to go about five beads tall. Now my favorite stems from Dollar Tree are these. I feel like they look so natural and so much more expensive than Dollar Tree florals. I'm going to cut those off at the bottom and use those in my vase. And here's how it turned out. If you guys are wanting more help decorating for fall, make sure you check out my second channel, Liz from McDaily. I post some of my best decorating content over there five days a week. I was so excited to find the acorn beads this year at Dollar Tree. They're gonna be such a popular item. I have a great DIY for them. I'm gonna be creating a garland with my acorn beads. So I need to start by drilling a hole into the bead. So I'm gonna use my drill and drill a hole. I'm gonna split my beads into two categories. With half of the beads, I'm going to dye them with a navy color. Then I'm going to put in half of my acorn beads, close the lid, and I'm gonna kind of shake them up. I let them sit in this container for about 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes was up, I put the acorns out on a plate so that they could dry completely. I didn't rinse them or do anything to them. I let them dry overnight. Came back the next day and now it's time to add them to my garland. So I'm gonna be using twine for this DIY. I tied it in a knot at the end of the twine and then I'm gonna place the beads onto my twine. So I used five dark beads and then switched to five natural beads. And then I went back and forth until I used up the majority of my beads. Once I got to the end, I tied those in a knot as well. These beads would work great for a fireplace or centerpiece. I absolutely love the look of terracotta for fall. I think it looks so high end. So I found these ceramic pumpkins at Dollar Tree and I thought, let's try to make them look a little bit more high end. Make sure you give it plenty of time to dry. So mine sat completely overnight. I'm gonna mix water with my Waverly White chalk paint and use a foam brush to add that to the outside of my pumpkins. Then I'm gonna immediately wipe it off with a paper towel because I want it to just have a little bit of a white finish to it to distress it just a little bit. You can do this as much or as little as you like. After that, I let them completely dry and here's how they look styled. Don't be afraid to try that project you've been wanting to do. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure you subscribe because I want to see you back here. Bye. I just used some, uh, the, the <laughs>